Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we're going to be looking at the topic um, indices and logarithms and today we're just going to introduce the logarithm, how we write the notation for logarithm using indices and, and vice versa. And then we'll do the pra few practice questions uh, so that it can help you to understand the concept. So when it comes to logarithm, logarithm is a power to which a fixed number must be raised to produce a given number. So initially, when we were talking about indices, for example, these are some of, we looked at some of the rules of indices. So if you have three raised to zero, it gives you one. Three raised to one gives you three. Three raised to two. This means it's 3 times 3 to give you 9, and then 3 raised to 3 gives you 27, because this is 3 times 3 times 3, and then 3 raised to 4 gives you 81. So this is what we saw with the indices. So the indices, that is 1, 2, 3, or the powers, this power 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I usually referred to are called the logarithm, they actually the logarithm of the corresponding number. So in the corresponding number basically is the answer to the base of three. So we are going to see how to do the logarithm notation. So for example, the logarithm of nine, which is the answer to the base of three is two. You see how we are, we are changing. So our base is going to be the number that is going to be um, powered or the one that is going to be indexed. So we are going to say logarithm of 9 to the base of 3, the answer is going to be 2. So you notice our answers to the logarithm value is always going to be the index. And then the logarithm, we are going to be doing the logarithm of the answer. And then the 3 is going to be the base. The base is the number that is being Powered. So, for example, uh, for example, let's do the questions. For example, that we are looking at the first question, which is three power zero is equals to one. We're going to say it is the logarithm of one to the base of three gives us zero. The other one is going to be the logarithm of three to the base of three gives us one. And then the next is the logarithm of 27 to the base of 3 gives us 3. And then the last is the logarithm of 81 to the base of 3, which will give us 4. So you see how we use the values. The, uh, the index is the answer. The answer for the indexing is the logarithm. The base is the value that is being powered. So let's do a few more examples. So if you were to write the logarithm notation for the, it would be the log of 4. The base now is this value that is being powered or indexed, which is 2. And the index is the answer, which is 2. If we look at this, this means that the logarithm of 25 to the base of 5 is equals to 2. If you look at the square of 5, you get 25. That is what the index says. So if we, we do write the notation, it's a logarithm of 25 to the base of 5, which gives us 2. And then now, in this case, you're going to convert this logarithm notation into an index notation. Remember this 2 is the base. The 7 is the index. And 128 is the answer. So if we were to write the index, it means it's the base which is 2. The index power 7 gives us 128. Let's look at another example. So you have been given the log of base, or log of 625 in the base of 5 to give you 4. So the 5 is the base, the 4 is the index, 
and then the 625 is the answer. So if we were to write the index notation would be the base 5 index, which is the power, is equal to 6, 2, 5. So that's how we represent the logarithm notation and the index notation. Let's do a few examples. So the first one is going to, this is, this is the base, this is the index, this is the answer. So you start with the answer. So the log of 3 to the base of 9 is going to be half. The answer is half. Let's try this another one. So we are changing this into an index. This is the base. This is the index or the power. And this is going to be the answer. So this tells us that if you take 10, you power it three times, you get 1,000. If we convert now this into an index as well, this is the base, this is the index, and then this is the answer. So this means if you take x, you power it to y, you're going to get root. So the same case, this is the base. The 2 is the index or the power. And then the x is the answer. So it means that if you take y, you power h2, it's going to give you x. Let's do a few more examples of the same. So if you were to make this index into a logarithm notation, it's going to be the log of 1, that's the answer, to the base. This is the base in all cases, base of 10, and then the index becomes the answer. Let's convert this index into logarithm. So it's going to be the log, this is the base, 2, and it's a log of 1024 is equals to 10. Let's convert this into logarithm. So log of base A of B is equals to N. Let's convert this into index. So this is the base. Uh, this is the index. And then this is the answer. So it becomes 5, the base, power 3 is equals to 1, 25. So you see how we, we are able to get the notations both for index and log and how they, they are interconnected. So from this topic, as we move on to the next topics, so you're going to be looking now at the logarithm notation a lot. You're going to focus on that. Uh, in the different calculations. So that brings us to the end of the topic. You can get more questions on practicing how to change index values into logarithm and vice versa in the app. And also you can get more notes with more guidelines in the app. So see you in the next lesson.